Hello everyone, Mr Rag here and I'm delighted to tell you about GCSE Music. It's a very practical course that will involve 60% of your assessment being based on your musical activities, namely performance and composition. Many lessons will involve you playing and practicing your instrument or voice as you refine and improve your pieces. You will perform with other people in groups and also practice on your own. At the end of year 11, I will record performances of you playing lasting around three minutes in total. For composition, we will start with simple tasks that enable you to develop ideas into longer pieces using instruments and computers. By the end of year 11, you will hand in your two best pieces, one of which will be to a brief. For example, this year's briefs were write a soundtrack to a car chase scene or write a rock song to be performed in a festival. In order to compose, we need to listen to lots of music. That will help understand how music works and how composers write. Remember that quote on the music room wall? A good composer does not imitate, they steal. Well, that's the principle we use when learning to compose. And you will develop those listening skills into the one exam that we have in music, where you write about what you have listened to using musical vocabulary. Film music and pop music are areas of study, but we will listen to everything from classical, musical theatre and music from other cultures. You will learn mostly by becoming involved in practical activities. The department is extremely well resourced with two large teaching rooms, housing computers with up-to-date software, including the new push devices. We are one of only 10 schools in the country to have these incredible creative tools. Downstairs, we have six practice rooms for you to break out into group work and individual practice with pianos, keyboards, drum kits and guitars and basses for each room. And of course, we have a 24 track recording studio. So performing and composing components cover 30% each in the entire course. We will record you, feed back to you with recommendations for improvement and how we came to those grades using the assessment criteria, which will enable you to move on. And those assessments are live, will tell you straight away how you can move on. You will re-record, learn new pieces all the time. Remember, these are pieces of your own choice. We don't tell you what you must play. The listening paper in June of year 11 is 40%, and we will do loads and loads of listening and quizzes, gradually developing our listening skills over time. It's a very creative course. Creative courses are very important to the lifeblood, not just of, only of schools, but to the country, to our culture, to our well-being. Employers are looking for more than just knowledge skills. Can you think on your feet, adapt, improvise, lead a group of people, listen and empathise, entertain and present? Well, music gives you all of that. So don't think I'm not going to be a musician so it's not worth doing the course. Sure, we have plenty of examples of ex-pupils now working professionally in the music industry, but having music on your CV is a useful embellishment and makes you interesting and stand out as having potential. It is an academic and well-respected course. If you don't play an instrument or have stopped, then it doesn't really matter. As long as you are passionate and committed to learn, then you will succeed and get to the level required. Similarly, if you all have already been playing well to a high standard, the other elements of the course will challenge and inspire you. If you like the idea of spending time playing, creating and listening to music in a relaxed environment with no desks and little pen and paperwork, then I look forward to seeing you. If you have any questions, please email me on edwardrag at rawlinsacademy.org.uk.